In this tutorial, we're going to create a signable PDF. In this fictitious scenario, our lawyer has sent us this form with fields in it, including signature fields at the very bottom that we're going to add signature options to. Then when your customer is filling out their signature, they can then add their digital ID to it and sign the document. And I'm going to show you how to do most of that for free in this tutorial. The contract itself written by your lawyer would not be free, but adding these signature boxes and showing you how to do that, that is free. And that is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn All, passing WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. We've got a pretty standard looking contract here. This is a template I found online, but if you have your lawyers create this for you, it'd be customized to you. I have a tutorial showing you how to add fields for all the blanks to make them all fillable. So we're not going to do that in this video. We're specifically going to look at how to make a document signable or a PDF signable because some contracts would have all this stuff pre-filled already or even not even there. Some, some contracts only have signature fields. And so how do we make these areas down here signable? To do that, we're going to use a free tool called Docfly. This allows you to create, edit, convert up to three PDF files a month. So if you are creating a signable document, like we're going to do in this case, you'd create it once and then you save it to your hard drive and you can just send that out to your new prospective customers whenever you get a new prospective customer. Just keep using it over and over. The only time you have to use more credits is if you have to update your contract for whatever reason or change it for a specific customer possibly. But once you've created it in here, you can download it to your hard drive and you keep it there forever and use it as long as you need. And it's totally for free. So let's upload our contract into here. There it is, let's click on it to open it. And as I mentioned, we're not gonna do all these fillable fields because I have a different tutorial specific to that. It's in the card up above and the description down below. We're going to focus on page five where we have our signatures. So let me zoom in here. Let's go to form creator. Let's add a signature field. Let's put it right there. And let's add another one. Let's put it right there. Let's resize it a bit. Now we have two places to sign. That's how easy it is. If this is your company contract, one of these sides would be you or your boss or somebody in your company who's signing, in which case you can have this pre-filled already. If I click on sign here, you click on insert signature on the right and you can upload your digital ID or just sign it by drawing or by typing your name right here. And then that'll be one signature pre-filled, which in this case would be your company's. And the other one would need to be signed by whoever it is that you're working with. So I'm just going to insert here Frank Smith. Let's pretend Frank Smith is the company owner, the title and date. Again, that's in the other tutorial showing you how to do that because not every PDF requires that. Some just require signatures, so I'm making this specifically about signatures. You also have an initial field. Sometimes, especially when you're talking about real estate, you have signature fields instead of sign fields, or in addition to, I should say. So maybe this clause right here, we have to specifically initial this clause right there. It says really small initial here. Let's make that bigger so you can see it. It says initial here with a little finger, but it's really small when you shrink it down. And that's where a customer's initials are going to go. So once you have every spot where you need a signature or initial set up, click on save. And then let's download this. I have one more credit left out of my three per month. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Next month, I'll have three more, which is fantastic. Now we have our new document right here. Now, if I open this in say the Mac previewer, we scroll down where the signatures are. We see Frank Smith over here. There's something clickable over here, but you can't even see it. It's not even there. And on the left, there's something clickable as well, but you can't see it. You can change it so they are visible by clicking on here and changing the background colors. So maybe we want a background color of that, a border color of that. So you can change the colors of these fields so they are visible, but even then it doesn't work in an app like Previewer. 
you have to open this in something else. What we're going to use is the world's most popular PDF viewing program, and that is Adobe Acrobat Reader. This program is free. There is a pro version, but this is just a free version I'm using here. Your customers can fill out PDFs all day long using the free version. And in here, we see these fields are visible. They even have a little signature arrow right up here. If I click on the initial field, it allows us to set our digital signature. You can use a signature creation device. You can use a digital file from your computer. You can also create a new digital signature. Let's go with that one. Let's save it to a file on the computer. Then your customer would just fill this out. They don't need to add organizational unit or organization name. This their email address at a minimum. And their region, I'm going to choose Canada. There we go. Key algorithm, I don't know, but I assume the highest number is more secure. What are you going to use it for? Digital signatures, data encryption, or both? I'll choose both. Click on continue. You can choose where to save it. Your customer can also password protect it. So if they ever use it again, they'll have to enter the password they create here to actually use a digital ID, which is a good idea. Then they click on save, and they have their digital ID. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have one set up. But once they have that digital ID created, they just click on here, click the sign button. Click on here, click the sign button. Then they click on save. Then it will be saved right to the PDF that we have created here. And then they can upload it to your website using a form or they can email it to you or however you want to get it back. Just tell them how you want to get it back and then they'll send it back to you. And you have a signed contract. If you use the pro version of Adobe Acrobat Reader, you can create the signature fields and the fillable fields right in Adobe Acrobat Reader Pro and have it all done for you, all the tracking and everything. They'd sign it, they click on upload right here. You'd be notified, your new signatures have come in. If you need to have things signed by multiple people, like real estate contracts, then it would automatically be done for you. You'd sign it, it would be sent to whoever has to sign it next, then whoever has to sign it next, and this is all done automatically. But using the free software, you gotta do a lot more manual work, but at the end of the day, it's free, so maybe that's the way you wanna go. If you do lots of contracts, I recommend getting a paid solution like Adobe Acrobat Reader Pro or DocuSign or something like that. But as far as free solutions go, using DocFly works really well. And then your customer would use Adobe Acrobat Reader to sign it. They could do it with the free version of Reader, just like we see right here. I have the free version. They probably already have it installed. It is one of the most used PDF readers in the world. So the chances are they already have it on their computer. And so there's really no barrier to entry. They just get the PDF on their computer, they probably even have it as their default reader. I have to right click and open it with Adobe Reader because it's not my default. Preview is my default. Anyway, they probably wouldn't have any trouble. If they do have trouble, you just walk them through it on the phone. Then they sign the document and they send it back to you. Next up, check out this tutorial right here where I show you how to make a PDF fillable with things like text fields, text areas, check boxes, drop downs, radio buttons, all up in this tutorial right here. It's pretty awesome. So check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.